Palestrina in the cathedral. High choirs across the tip of the air hail me huddled in my pew. Lost in this tall forest of thick gray trunks reaching up into shadow, I make, an I make angels in my head, quiet as clouds. Second one. When night comes, out alone, hugged by its dark, <clears throat> seeing nothing but the smell of forest, cacophony of crickets, somewhere now you are lifted up, up, up by a wind that is suddenly taking a liking to you until your lips could even kiss the moon if it were there. <laughs> and the final poem is a voice poem um, uh, in, a, in the voice of a New England character. In a country store a, uh, a lot has happened in this town since you were here. Simon Lowe, the chicken farmer, took five mangy hounds he owned down to the garbage dump, burnt them alive. That was a year ago. Since then, our organist Flora over at St. Paul's got blown to bits when a whole load of TNT she had stashed below the choir loft exploded. <laughs> she, the church, gone. Fuck God and Bach, she used to mutter all the time. <laughs> then Tim Foy, editor of About Town, got sent down the river for ten years because they found him giving blowjobs to high school boys in his cellar. And just last Sunday afternoon, Miss Susan B., our librarian, hung herself with a curtain cord in her, in her attic, all because of a salesman who came through, stayed for a while, went. A failed romance, the rumor was. A, uh, a lot has happened. <laughs> Today our own Edgetown Giants beat Cornville by five home runs. First win since Hector was a pup. You here for the square dance? Thank you. <laughs>